Happy Tuesday morning, August 17th, 2021. To God be the glory for yet another opportunity to experience His grace, His love, His kindness. Oh my goodness, to have protection overnight with so much craziness that is going on, not only in the city, but across the land and the world. We don't take it for granted. We just thank Him for another chance to praise Him and to say, God, you have been so good. Oh, I've had that in my heart. Lord, you are good. He's been so good. Lord, you have been good. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. Oh, and I'm looking at a scripture where we would have read this today because of today's date. Psalms 107, 15. Oh, that men... Oh, that women, oh, that teenagers, young people, young adults, oh, that children would praise the Lord for his goodness. Oh, my. <laughs> he, has, he has supplied our needs. He has been with us through the years, moment to moment. When we were doing our own thing and ignoring his grace, he still showered us with his blessings and it says and for his wonderful works to the children of men and verse 8 says oh that men would praise the Lord for his goodness again for his wonderful works because this really spoke to me he satisfieth nothing else out here can really quench that thirst nothing out here can Feel that hunger. It says, for he satisfieth the longing soul. No relationship, no boo, no food, no purchase, nothing. He satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Again, the goodness that he gives. So that's why we are to exalt his name on high. That's why... The congregation of the people the body of Christ every day we have nothing to complain about even in our worst days because we are still able to experience his presence his presence his gifts and he being right there with us so we can look and see how he turneth the rivers into a wilderness and the water springs into dry ground but then he reverse it in any way he wants so you might have something that is on your heart today we have so many prayer requests with the woman that was shot there have been so many people killed there are so many people who are suffering with this virus the delta variant and we're going into the fall season. We don't know what will happen. But we trust in the Lord. And we just continue to do his work, his assignment, what he has told us to do. And if you don't know, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he'll bring his will to pass. But we have to commit. We have to give everything. Surrender our all to him. And he'll reveal his will. In Psalms 8. We would have gone to that. That's today's chapter. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. He has done so much. <laughs> David wrote this, and he said, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies. He has ordained strength for us today. We don't know what we're going to face. We don't know how the day will end, but he has ordained strength for all of us. It is sufficient for today. So the, the joy of the Lord is our strength. <laughs> Psalm 77, 14 and 11. Thou art the God that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Thank the Lord. <laughs> so. We're just asking him for more of his power, his presence, and know that he's going to do great things, not by our might. Not, we will be exasperated with our flesh, but know that God is the one 
who will just pour his his is our sufficiency and we can just know that he is going to lead and guide us throughout the day and he will open doors and we will just meditate we will keep our mind on him and we'll be in perfect peace and talk of his doings and accomplish his will god we thank you lord for another opportunity to experience your love your goodness your greatness you've been better than good all of our moments of life oh god lord times every time we have not deserved a thing oh god lord we just thank you that we could just exalt you this very day father we're asking for a double portion of your strength oh god we just want to continue to just behold your goodness Father, Lord, and you will just guide us and we'll just meditate of, on your doings, oh God. And we know that you are our trust, our joy, our hope, and our peace. And we'll keep our mind on you. Thank you, Father, that we could glorify you in everything that we'll do. And Lord, we'll just look to you for more. All right. We thank the Lord for what he's going to do and know that in the name of Jesus, we have victory and strength and his grace. Have a good day.